Hello from the ST stand here at Embedded World 2015 in Nuremberg. I'm with Laurent Berra, who's going to talk about something very high tech but with a very low tech prop. Hi, Chris. Do you know those bricks from a famous Danish toy company? Out of those bricks, kids are making buildings, submarines, spaceships. The only limitation is their imagination. Well, STM32, Nucleo, and Cube are the basic bricks of electronic systems. Here we have a Nucleo board. See? Okay, see, the Nucleo board features a standard mechanical and electrical interface. If you want to add new functionality to the STM32, you just add the new boards. Okay? I pick up this example for you. Here you have the STM32 Nucleo boards with a USB cable for coding and debugging. On top of that, we add some boards to add new functionality. For instance, you want to connect this to a smartphone. We have a Bluetooth low energy interface. We have a hertz rate monitoring system, okay? Say we want to pretend this is a smartwatch. We have an NFC board for payments or pairing for the Bluetooth low energy. And finally, there is a display to display information on your smartwatch. Essentially, what you have here is the prototype of a smartwatch. What we see in the market, more and more companies, they want to be part of the Internet of Things. Those companies are not necessarily electronic experts. They want to rely on a secure platform. STM32 is the right platform to start to connect your product to the Internet of Things. Well, in this show, we are presenting two new products. One is the STM32 L4, combining high performance and low power. Low power is very important for battery-operated products, and performance means innovation. The second product we are introducing is the STM32 F7. STM32 was introduced in the market in 2007. At that time, it was a revolution. You know, the first 32-bit ARM core-based machine affordable. Seven years later, STM32 F7 is seven times more performance. So you can rely on us to keep on bringing innovation in this market. Well, Laurent, the story began with small plastic bricks and ended up with state-of-the-art technology. Lovely to talk to you as always. Well, Chris, thanks for the interview. It was my pleasure.